happening Reds? today we have a news that we all have been waiting for the whole like the last two months that michael edward is back finally and you know i really don't want a player or a player or a manager or a you know sporting director or anyone in the liverpool structure to be forced to do anything for the team but you know on the same side on the same note you know he is one of those uh you know people who made liverpool great in the recent years and you know like him coming back maybe comes with a good thing uh he will be coming with the a huge from uh, uh, Bournemouth and which is really really good actually I had huge has already agreed contra uh, contract and everything with Liverpool so he's just waiting for the season to end and he come and announce be announced for his role in Liverpool and also what um, things that I'm hearing is that Liverpool will now find a new manager under the the, uh, the direction that Michael Edward will take Edwards will take and uh, after the manager is sorted and then that's when they can offer like the three main players who are out of contract uh in 18 months a new contract a new proposal and you know the new project of the team you know uh i know salah said he might leave liverpool but you know and you know virtual van dyke said let's see what happens they still long time ago but i don't think trend has an issue with anything Especially since now, you know, the, you know, saga with him and Real Madrid is over, you know, and Real Madrid are no longer interested in him. I know Real Madrid just come out of nowhere once they feel like there's an opportunity here. But, you know, uh, Fajal van Dijk and, you know, Fajal van Dijk being the captain of the team, I would have expected him to say, just like Mo Salah said, uh, nothing uh, affects my future, you know, with this team, you know. Because he's the whole captain, everyone looks up to him, you know. Uh, even though we have so many good players, I don't trust uh, Ibrahim Konate because most French players, whenever a French team comes for them, they go back to their country. Uh, or their, those teams, uh, like if you look at um, what uh, Ibrahim, what's it called, uh, Osman Dembele did, and you know some others were forcing you know moves back, you know. I really don't think, uh, what's he called, uh, even Colomwani forced his move, you know, I don't like those kind of things because for them, you know, uh, they know they will lose a position in their national team if they don't do what the other the team from their national wants. So, I don't trust Rahira Konate, but now we only have Kwanza and uh, Gomez as, you know, non-centre-back that can hold this team for long. I don't think Liverpool will give Joe Gomez any contract, uh, same as, you know, um, what's he called? Uh, uh, Diago Alcantara and, uh, you know, this every every year we are losing two, three players on, you know, uh, free, uh, free agency, you know, free transfer. I really don't understand why the team, you know, at least is not cashing them in. You know, Diago Alcantara could have been cashed in in January when Saudi money was roaming around, you know. So I really don't understand what you guys think. What, how do you think the teams will go? And if you are red and you came this long, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So I'll see you in the next video. Be smart, be safe, and take care of yourselves. Peace.